In question number 14, atomic packing fraction of FCC is required. FCC stands for face centered cubic and it is a type of arrangement and material science. And atomic packing fraction is defined as volume occupied by the atom in a unit cell divided by the total volume of the unit cell. This is the basic formula for calculating packing fraction. In FCC arrangement, there are four atoms per unit cell. And if we divide the volume occupied by that four atoms to the total volume of the unit cell, we will get our answer as 0 0.74. That is the atomic packing fraction of FCC is 0.74 or 74% in percentage. It means that 74% of the FCC is occupied by these four atoms and the rest 26% of this structure is empty. In question number 15, we are asked the relation between color and their resolution. As color is defined by their characteristic frequency, so basically here we will describe the relation between frequency and resolution. Higher frequency means high resolution and vice versa. That is if frequency of some color is high, then its resolution will be high and if frequency of some color is low, then its resolution will be low so from the options given in the question you have to simply check the frequency of colors and the color of highest frequency will have the highest resolution in question number 16 exclusive or gate constituents are asked boolean expression for output of exclusive or gate can be written as a bar dot b plus a dot b bar this is the output of exclusive or gate and from this output we can see that this and this are end operations so we require here two end gates also there is a plus here it means we have one or gate and also there are two inversions one is here and the other is here so we require two not gates these five are the constituents of exclusive or gate that is two end gates one or gate and two not gates in question number 17 work done in circular motion after a complete cycle is it is a very important question in physics often asked in interviews there are various reasons from which we can deduct that work done in circular motion after a complete cycle is zero. One reason is that the total displacement in this is zero. The second possible reason for this is that at every point in circular motion, the displacement and the force are always perpendicular to each other and many others. So we have to just remember that work done in circular motion after complete cycle is always equal to zero. And in question number 18, statement is given as magnetic force on a charged particle is maximum when angle between velocity and magnetic field is. When a charged particle is moving in magnetic field, force on it is can be written as F is equal to Q times V cross V where Q is the charge on particles, V is its velocity and B is the corresponding magnetic field which we can write in magnitude form as QVB sin of theta. This force will be maximum when sin theta will be maximum and sin theta will be maximum when theta is equal to 90 degree. So for theta is equal to 90 degree, the magnetic force on charge particle will be maximum. Question number 19 is the simple nomenclature question that is quanta for vibration in solid lattice is known as this is simply known as phonons as quanta for light is called photon and quanta for vibration in solid lattice is simply known as phonons 